Hello everyone. This is Brenda with Snippity Doo Creations. And I thought it would uh, be a good idea to come on and let you all know what's been going on. <coughs> Excuse me. I um, missed you all very much and it's been quite a while since I've done a video. So I wanted to sort of explain to the ones who uh, you know, <clears throat> don't know my history to uh, let the, let you all know too that I am uh, ready to get back in the swing of things. I miss you all. I miss my crafting and I think I am going to try to get things going and uh, start making videos and crafting along with you all. So um, I have this little thing here for you to look at, something <clears throat> to focus on while I, um, actually real quick, I got this from um, Amazon and I just love the ephemera that comes in this. It's very, um, it's a Fayware ephemera book, vintage stickers. And it's got some, I think some, yeah, it's got some paper too. And um, I got that from Amazon and I absolutely love it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, whew, most of you know that um, when I stopped doing the crafting videos, I was in the process of moving from Ohio down here to uh, North Carolina. I am down here in North Carolina. I love being back. Um, Ohio was nice. It was fine. We lived there for two, two and a half years. And um, it was a nice place, but I am definitely, definitely glad to be back. Uh, while in Ohio, most of you also know that I had uh, two bouts of oral cancer and had surgery um, like twice within the same year. <clears throat> and that was, uh, the second surgery was, uh, I was recovering when we were in the middle of the move. So that took a lot, you know, a lot out of me and everything. But we got down here in North Carolina. My son, my daughter-in-law, and my little granddaughter are down here also. And they live now about 30 minutes from us. We are in a new home. And I'm in a new craft room. And have you ever noticed that every time, well, if you move a lot, <laughs> every time you move, your craft room gets smaller and smaller. So um took a while to get all my stuff packed in here, and it's not all in here, I have to say. So anyway, um, we got down here, we got moved into a new home in a nice little town. And um, <clears throat> got all moved in, partially moved in before Christmas. So um, I was out doing my Christmas shopping, grocery shopping, the Friday before Christmas. And um, I had met a new doctor. My Cleveland surgeon introduced me to a doctor down here in North Carolina at Duke University Hospital. And I went and had had an introductory meeting with him to let him get to know me and me him. And during the exam, <clears throat> there was a little, like what I called a bite mark, uh, like a little pinch of skin where, where you might have like bit down on the inside of your cheek. And that's what I told the doctor. It was a little, I think I had accidentally bit the inside of my cheek. So he took it at that, but he also wanted to do a, a biopsy, which, you know, because of my history, I was absolutely fine with that. So he did. And, um, you know, I thought nothing of it. It's a little bite mark. So uh, we got done, got introduced. Um, he took the biopsy, sent me on my way, and that was a couple weeks before Christmas. And then Friday, the, the Friday before Christmas, I um, 
was out shopping and I got uh, a call in the grocery store and I saw that it was Duke University Hospital. So of course I answered it. And um, uh, found out that it was my doctor and he just informed me that um, he had the biopsy results back and then he proceeded to tell me that it uh, was cancer. Again, <clears throat> it was cancerous. I sort of felt like passing out in the grocery store. So I uh, had to sit down real quick and the only place I could sit down was right in the meat counter. <laughs> So before passing out, I did. I sat right down in the meat counter. And of course the coldness of that uh, <laughs> uh, helped me to not pass out. My husband was um, beside me wondering what on earth, because I mean, he kind of knew what was going on, but not for sure. So, um, I got done with the doctor. He said he would be in touch for another surgery date. And uh, I got done and told my husband, I gotta get out of here. I went to the car and just bawled my eyes out in the, in the car while my husband finished up and got the groceries uh, paid for. And um, that was my Christmas knowing that um, I had cancer again and uh, called my kids, told my, told my kids what was going on and they were very upset because number one, it was Friday before Christmas. Could he not have waited for Monday after Christmas to tell me this? Um, so I I agreed with that part, I must say. He could have waited, I think, until Monday. But anyway, it was out. So I, needless to say, had a very um, sort of sad mood Christmas this last Christmas. But um, we all got together. So I did have my, my kids around and my grandchildren. So... That helped a lot, but needless to say, since I found out and then um, found out in December, in January, I had to have another surgery. So I went through the surgery and um, had a chunk of my right cheek cut out. And at the same time, um, I had felt like my back tooth, one of my back teeth was what was irritating my tongue that caused the cancer in my tongue to begin with. So I just went ahead and asked my surgeon, could you please just yank that tooth out? Um, because it, it's what's been irritating me. And I thought that's probably what bit my cheek too and caused that uh, to go cancerous. And I don't know for sure if that's how it happens, but um, anyway, he agreed. He said, um, Yes, I will take that out at the same time uh, because it will also help me to reconstruct the inside of your mouth. Um, it'd be easier to, you know, reconstruct what he had to do um, after taking, because at that time we didn't know how deep the cancer was or anything. So he agreed anyway, and um, I had surgery and, um, when I was awake enough to find out what went on, um, he had cut out the, the one, uh, spot on my cheek that was, uh, <clears throat> uh, that he needed to. And then he, they proceeded to tell me that when they took the tooth out, the back tooth on the bottom, they found another spot that had been hidden by the tooth. So they went ahead and took 
another big chunk out of my, uh, you know, right behind my back tooth where they had taken my tooth out. So, regardless uh, of just, you know, having a bite mark, I also had the, the uh, other chunk that um, we didn't know about. Anyway, surprise. So I had two chunks taken out and it left quite a, a, a hole, I guess, in my mouth. So what the doctor had to do uh, is um, <clears throat> there's a pocket of fat in your cheek that's called bu buccal fat, buccal, B-U-C-C-A-L, I think it's called. And um, he decided to uh, slid into that and grab the fat pocket out and pull that aside and fit that in the big hole in my cheek. So that is what is uh, filling up. Instead of having to graft anything from my other parts of the body, he just uh, took that fat out and stuffed it into the hole. That's what I'm picturing anyway. So uh, <clears throat> that's uh, how he reconstructed the the surgeon surgery and he said that uh luckily um you know they did because I forgot to tell you but I wasn't gonna have at the hospital I waited so long on surgery day that you know I waited for hours to have my surgery and I was not gonna I was not gonna go through with it I just wanted to go home I said you know, I told the nurses, I, I got to go. I'm, you know, it's been a long day and I don't want no, you know, <laughs> fatigued surgeon working on me. Um, but anyway, long story short, she called the doctor. The doctor came, talked to me, talked me into having the surgery, which I did and glad that I did and got it over with. So I am in recovery mode and... Um, actually, I have recovered from partially from the surgery, but it was decided that yes, I did have to have radiation treatment um, after this surgery because three times and uh, radiation was thought to be, you know, to be done. So here I am hiding your pretty little spot with my <laughs> with my hands. So. Um, I have been through six weeks of radiation treatment. That was not fun. Um, the radiation itself isn't painful, but the after effects are very painful. Uh, so I am, let's see, four weeks. I'm four weeks from my last radiation treatment and I'm in the recovery mode. But I, um, like I said, I do want to try to get back to doing my crafting. Um, I have been in a very dark place. I I don't know if it was hate or fear or what it was, but I, I was, I didn't want to socialize. I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I just hid away and went through my radiation treatments and decided it was time to get back into socializing and videotaping and crafting. Uh, and try to, you know, claw my way out of this mood that I've been in, this dark place. I hate it there, and I want to get back in the swing of things. So, that is where I am. Um, I hope to start making videos and crafting along with you guys. Um, I am in the process of putting some journals together. I have some here that I'm working on and um, I love how these are coming out. Uh, this is my first <laughs> uh, project since I've been in the dark place. So uh, these are very uh, old books that I absolutely love and I am 
see if I'm on the camera here. <laughs> and uh, I am using uh, Medieval Mirages. Oh, it's her papers, but I'm not sure what the name of it is. But these papers that uh, I'm using, I absolutely love. But it is Medieval Mirage, and I will link her below because she has incredible digitals, and they are very, they have loads of fun things and um, <clears throat> worth the money. That's what I'm trying to say. They are worth the money. So um, that's some of the pages. And uh, I'm having fun. I'm having fun with these. I love them. So uh, these uh, are what, I'll, what I'm working on. And I will be, of course, making some ephemera and stuff to go in them. And... One of my questions to you is this one here because of this. Um, and these are old books, so, you know, you have to expect a little roughness here and there. But this here on the front, I thought I made this little thing here. And I thought, well, how would that look like sitting on the front of just this one? I, um, I won't put anything on the other ones, but... If you guys wouldn't mind, can you just let me know what you feel about this being, you know, with or without this little, uh, little, uh, ephemera piece that I put together, um, and tell me if you think you would like it on the book or you would put it on the book, on the journal or not, and, um, Give me some ideas on what, uh, you know, if you would do that or not. Um, I can't make up my mind. I guess the bottom line is I just can't make up my mind. So, and these are some more, this is some more of her. Did you, she has lots of uh, journal pages and lots of ephemera in her kits. So, um, I'm in love with her digi kits and I will probably more than likely be using them a lot so these I'm working on we'll be making some ephemera and probably be putting those together and like I said um, you'll notice that I have some slurs when I'm talking uh, I haven't got used to the I guess uh, uh, the reconstruct of my uh, of my mouth I'm not used to it the feel and the, the movement and uh, I can barely stick a fork in my mouth to eat so it's been a lot of liquids but I am uh, starting to eat but it hurts to stick a fork in my mouth <laughs> or a spoon so um, and I will be you know I'll probably be miss saying some words and slurring and stuff like that but I know you guys are you know you're just the best and I know um that I miss your comments and your well wishing and your prayers um so you know I I just want to come back and be with you all again so with that, I will um, let you all go. Thank you so much for listening to my rant or my little uh, history. And um, I hope to see you again real soon with some kind of a crafting video. And um, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. So, you guys, I love you all. I miss you all. And um, I hope to see you again real soon. And you guys have a wonderful, blessed, beautiful day. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.